Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make a classic cake donut with ridiculously delicious roasted honey crisp apples, some fall cider-like spices, a splash of whiskey, and to boot, it is all vegan. So let's dive into the recipe. All right, so first things first, you are gonna grab a few firm apples such as Honey Crisp, Fuji, or Pink Lady work just fine for this, and you're gonna peel them all the way down. After they've been peeled, you can dice them or cut them down into smaller pieces so that they cook a bit faster. Uh, but once that's done, you're gonna transfer them to a saucepan that's on high heat with a little bit of canola oil. Then you're gonna add the spice mix of nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice to it, along with brown and white sugar, salt, and finally a splash of whiskey, which is totally optional, of course, but um, a very good addition nonetheless. Uh, but anyways, you're gonna cook everything on high heat for 10 minutes or so until the apples turn a very dark, sticky golden brown. When the hot apples are finished cooking, you could put them into a blender, uh, then quickly deglaze the hot pan with a little whiskey and applesauce that will be used as a base for the glaze um, for the donuts later on. Uh, but just be careful of flare-ups. Probably best to take the pan off the heat when you add liquor to it, uh, but sometimes I'm a little hasty with my cooking. Uh, but anyways, while that's reducing to a syrup, blend the caramelized apple mixture until it becomes a thick puree. Once the roasted apple puree is done, in a large mixing bowl, start making the donut batter by adding almond milk, brown and white sugar, an equal spice mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice, canola oil, all-purpose flour, and finally baking powder. Whisk all of this together until it becomes very smooth, but just be sure not to overmix. Basically, as soon as the lumps are gone, stop mixing, otherwise the batter may get a little tough. When the batter has come together, stir in a generous amount of the spiced apple puree until it's evenly incorporated. Then you are gonna transfer the batter to a piping bag, pull out your baking molds, and wipe each mold with a little canola oil to prevent any sticking from happening during the baking process. Once the tray is all set up, carefully pipe the batter into the cake donut molds, but only fill them up about half of the way, otherwise they'll overflow and end up having a little lip on the edge, kind of like a muffin, uh, which is not a terrible thing. Uh, but once the batter is all piped in, bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until they are a dark golden brown color. While the donuts are baking, it's a good time to get the glazes and toppings ready for um, finishing. So for the apple whiskey glaze, pour some of the reduced syrup from earlier into a small bowl with powdered sugar and mix until the sugar is completely absorbed. For the other two toppings, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can always go a little crazy with what kind of flavors you'd like in the sugar or powdered sugar variety. Uh, but here I just went with a little cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. But as soon as the toppings are finished, set them aside, pull the donuts out of the oven, and flip them over onto a cake rack to cool off for a minute or so. But once they are cooled down enough to handle, generously coat them in the glazes and toppings of your choosing and enjoy probably the best cake donut you've ever had, and it just happens to be vegan.
What's up guys? All right, so these apple whiskey spiced donuts are finished. I don't really know what to call them. I, I believe I'm probably gonna go with something apple and whiskey or mulled spice, but these donuts look really, really good. I love the mini effect. I always tend to go mini, um, A, because I have the molds, and B, just because I like things that are bite size and it just looks appealing. It's one of those things that people tend to gravitate towards. Anyways, I'm gonna dive in, run through the flavors, um, and these smell really good, so let me dive in. First, I'm just gonna, well, I'll do, I'll do this last because I know I have a feeling I'm really gonna enjoy that one. So let's do this one first. Oh, they haven't dried quite yet. Still a little sticky. This is the apple whiskey. Loads of apple flavor. Right away, you get that slightly sour apple flavor from the glaze, but it also has that beautiful caramelized sugar. Some of the deglaze, like, you know, roasted bits of the apple from the pan. So there's lots of flavor just within the apple glaze. Um, it has some of those like charred bits from the pan, that roasted apple, you know, dark caramelized uh, fond or the, that sticky stuff that was left over in the pan that I deglazed with a little bit of whiskey and apple juice. That's kind of within the glaze itself. So it's really, really flavorful um, glaze, but it has a nice, kind of a sour note to it, almost like a cider note. Um, but the donut itself has this beautiful, almost buttery in a sense, just because the roasted apples give off some of that nuttiness um, and just toasting them so hard, you can get that, um, almost like that brown butter effect. Um, but so far, so good with this first one. I definitely recommend making this. This is a, I mean, if you love apple donuts or just apple anything, these are amazing. And it's a, it's a nice variation to a cider donut, plus they're vegan. So it's like, you can't beat that, right? Um, all right, I'm gonna taste the sugar one now. Mm. Mm. Instantly you have a nice, like spicy burst of the false spiced flavors. The back of your palate, it gets all those roasted flavors from the donut. It's just so good. You wouldn't, I don't think you'd ever be able to tell this is vegan, honestly. I don't think I would ever, ever be able to tell. Um, just give them the first two donuts. And I mean, they're all the same donut. But, all right, now my favorite. Mm. Whoa. Now this one, it almost carries the spices like 10 times more than the sugar. It's really good. It's almost like a powdered apple hot tamale type of donut. You know, those little red candies. If you guys, if one of you guys made this for me, if any chef or anybody made this for me, I would have a hard time believing it was vegan. And I sure as heck wouldn't know right off the bat if it was vegan. So definitely a successful recipe. You probably don't even need to call these vegan. They're just cake donuts, cake based donuts. Um, but obviously for vegan friends and family, it's always nice to have some variations of the things that we really like, especially if you're a donut lover. Honestly, after tasting all of these, I believe I like the apple glazed one the best, just because I feel like it's the most dynamic. It's not just straight false spices. And the donut itself is, it's beautiful. It's just like a roasted apple cake, you know, very, very good. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Always make sure you check the description box all the way down at the bottom for ingredients. Also, I have um, highlighted tools and specific tools. If you guys like what I use on my channel, you wanna check that out. Comment down below for future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And of course, I will see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, guys.